an IntelliGel oscillator through an IntelliGel filter and then on to an IntelliGel wave folder. By using the filter before the wave folder, I can control the amount of harmonics that will be headed into the system. And then I also have the option of bringing up resonance, which adds a lot of almost bow-like edge. step keyboard continually plays a held arpeggiation over about two to three octaves. By simply touching different notes on the keyboard, I can reload the arpeggiator CV pitches and then the entire instrument will start to update its sample and hole generators with the new pitches. This allows me to change scales and keys on the fly. voice and the counter melody voice there are a total of nine parts in the full polyphonic instrument I do not have 
any direct control over the pitches being played. Essentially, the patch is a generative patch in terms of where the pitches come from, but it is a controllable patch in terms of the envelope, ranges of notes, tempo, and musical direction. shapeshifter is used for both the counter melody voice and the melody voice. sounds are available depending on how much wave folding is used, how far the low pass filter is open, and how much resonance in the low pass filter is used. The volume control for the gain into the filter that's part of the melody voice allows me to pull it out completely so that I can play the chordal parts without the melody triggering inadvertently. Like a whole new instrument, I had to learn where to put my hands, how to hold them, and how to move them in order to get different sorts of outputs. I spent weeks with the patch, learning to be able to control the antennas in such a way that it would give me useful musical phrases. Performing with the instrument feels a lot like conducting a small chamber orchestra. 